Hey Ubers, Vivian here with a aspiration box and card gift set. Uh, I was in the mood to create something that felt very luxurious and gilded, so I pulled out to start my Clear Snap Eye Zinc pigments, and I've been using these a lot. I'm actually using them up, so they've been a really good thing to have because um, I haven't been hoarding them. I've been using them. And um, I'm just pouring them out onto a piece of thick cardstock. This is cardstock from Coordinations. They're 110 pound um, extra heavy cardstock. And I'm using my Colorbox Art Wheel to spread out that color. One thing I've learned from playing with these eye zincs is that the lighter hand you use, the more of this really interesting veining that you get. Can you see that? And I really love these eye zincs because they give a very luxurious feeling. And you can see I used a completely different palette of colors for another piece that's very fun and vibrant. I'm going to use this in conjunction with an embossing folder from Sizzix and Eileen Hull. There's a set. This one is called Sunburst, and that's Waffle. It's a two embossing folder set, and it is number... 659879. I think this sunburst embossing fold is really funky um, and I'm really excited to see what the results are going to be with this type of coloration. So you open your multi-purpose platform, this is an extended one, um, to tab one and it shows you very clearly on the um, platform itself which tab should be open and you put your loaded embossing folder in between two acrylic plates and you can see the result. Isn't that cool? And I just want to play around a little bit with um, revealing those embossed surfaces just a little bit more. So I'm sanding the top off a little bit. So you can go light by sanding and revealing the paper underneath to reveal each ray of those beautiful sunburst patterns. I want to show you also what results when you use a darker color. So I'm using a pie piece. Um, it's a dark metallic color from a color box petal point set called um, Alchemy. I'm adhering my mixed media piece with some Mod Podge gloss and I'm putting a nice coating of the gloss on the top as well because I'm going for that really luxurious effect and I want it to be really shiny. And personally, I really like to go over the pieces, um, the surface with my fingers and just rub that in to make sure I've got good adhesion and um, I get to feel all of those beautiful raised surfaces. I'm going to, once that dries, I'm going to cut it using a canister die from Eileen Hall and Sizzix. It's number 659877. And I'm going through the movement here slowly because I want to emphasize that if you've done all this mixed media work on to your um, mat board, then you want to do it face down onto the felty side of your die. Um, face down. And the reason I'm emphasizing that is because I made this mistake in another shoot and I lost all of that work. The, all of that mixed media work was on the inside of the canister, which can't be really appreciated by anyone. So make sure you do it face down and that way you have your perfect cut and all of those um, pressed uh, fold lines press into the um, correct side of your mat board. This matte board is from Sizzix, and if you're new to matte board, Eileen Hall actually makes lots of dies with Sizzix that are great for use with matte board. Uh, the set that I got is great for people who are new to it. It's called Little Sizzles, and you have um, six sheets that are six inches by 13 inches in black, two in black, two in cream, and two in white. And once you press in all of those fold lines, then it's pretty self-explanatory how all of the pieces go together. That's your base, and the piece to your farthest left is the top. And I'm hot gluing them all together piece by piece. I'm going to make this into what I call an aspiration box. Um, I like the word aspiration better than wish because um, it feels to me more proactive, which sort of puts the hand, the 
the success of your desire into the hands of the universe, whereas aspiration feels like it's something attainable through your own action. Um, and uh, I think there are a lot of versions of this that people have. Um, but what you can do is, um, in your own private time, write on different, on little notes, things that you'd like to achieve for yourself and put them into this very special box. I just put a little um, handle on the top and I'm using a gold Sharpie pen to fill in the uh, spaces that were created by the folds. And just to up the gilding factor, I'm adding some gems that I picked up from Recollections. Um, to all of the centers of the starbursts. This is a um, another die set that's from a new release from Eileen Hall and Physics. It's a framelit set called Labels, Comma Kitchen, number six five nine eight six five, and it's got some great uh, little frame pieces like these that would be great for cards and also for labeling um, gifts of food. And there are some cute little dies in there as well, one in a jar shape, another in a cup shape, and another in a beautiful like ceramic pitcher shape. This is a frameless die set, which means it's wafer thin. And I always like to use wafer thin dies. Uh, they're made by a number of different manufacturers. I always use, like to use those wafer thin dies with this magnetic platform. It keeps the dies in place when you're cutting. You lay that down and your base acrylic plate, a piece of cardstock on top. And I don't know if you can tell there, see how that snaps too? It's very convenient. You don't need any post-its or scotch tape or anything to hold that in place. And that's really nice when you have, let's say, a pattern that you want to keep exactly centered inside of that framelit. Or if you have a sentiment that's already been stamped that you want to keep exactly framed in a certain way. Uh, and it's just really nice not to have to fiddle with extra adhesive. So I think this is a great investment to make if you like to die cut with wafer thin dies. And you put that second acrylic plate on top and send it through your big shot. So with my leftover piece of mixed media work, I made a coordinating card and I used that framelit die cut to uh, create a sentiment for the front, aspire, which is a great word, I think. I want to show you some close-ups of this mixed media effect using the clear snap eye zinc and the color box art wheel. There are such variations in color that happen using this these tools and I just really love it when colors oscillate. I love it a lot more than I do solid blocks of color. And here's the final shot of the gift set, an aspiration box and a matching card for maybe a young person in your life who has a whole future full of potential ahead. Thanks so much for watching. This is Vivian K, also known as Contadina K. If you'd like more inspirations from me, please visit me on my blog. That's contadinak.com. Bye.